Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Um, let's get that focused in the right place. Um, <clears throat> now we're having a look today at my one of my two grafted white sapotes. I can't remember if this one's the McDill or the Wilson. I'll have to look at my lists later and see which one I got first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, croaky for a croaky throat this morning now as you can see we're at really the end of february and the, again the plant's starting to put out some new shoots and it wants to flower again it doesn't hold on to the fruits obviously because it's too small but that's okay i don't mind it throwing out the odd flowers and it might cause the uh, growth hormones to boost boost a bit in the plant now what i'm interested in asking from uh, white sapote growers and experts is can these plants be rooted from cuttings if need be now the reason I ask this one has got a nice healthy shoot appearing from lower down the stem and I don't actually know where this plant is grafted the question I've been trying to ask myself and it's not easy to tell is let's see if I can focus in on it Will this plant have been grafted right down near the base where this line, of, there seems to be a groove here, would they have grafted this low down or there also appears to be some kind of sort of V-shaped groove here, will it have been grafted near the top? I grown the stem about a foot and then grafted it here. It's not totally obvious to me whether this has had a cleft graft or not well if it was been grafted at the base then obviously the whole of this shoot from here upwards is going to be the name variety in which case this new branch here i'm fine with it growing because that would be the name variety if on the other hand it's been grafted here in a cleft graft that means this will be from the rootstock. And I was wondering if I let this grow a bit, if anybody knows if white sapote cuttings can be rooted. And if they can, should they be rooted as a soft, a softwood cutting, or should they be left until they start to harden off before you try? And of course, the other problem is if the graft is up here, and this is rootstock shoot, this is likely to be very vigorous and sap strength from. The grafted section which I don't want it to do so um, it'd be interesting to see if any uh, experts in grafted sapote growing would like to hazard a guess as to whether or not the graft is indeed at the top of the stem or near the base of the stem and if this is a shoot off the rootstock is it possible that I could root it and get myself another plant? So, um, but I thought I'd give an update on it anyway. As I said, I, I'll put an overlay on the ad on the video as to whether it was the McDill or the Wilson. That won't affect uh, the answer to the question, but it'd be interesting to see if anybody knows. But it seems to be starting to grow again at the end of February, which is always uh, promising because it's put out a few little shoots in winter so at least it means the roots hopefully are reasonably healthy i'm trying not to overwater it so thanks everybody who's watched the video plants about two feet no between 18 inches and two feet tall so it's not a bad size it didn't grow much last year but i'm hoping for a bit more this year uh, and if the roots do fill the pot, I'll get it into a slightly larger pot and see if I can give it some rich soil and get the boost, get the growth boosting a bit more. Thanks for watching. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. You can share the video if you think anybody else might know the answer. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And remember to click on the bell if you'd like updates on this and my other tropicals. I should put it back in out of the winds now. Catch up with you all in the next video. Brett out for now.